Hi guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to unbox this Sima or Sima CM650B or AR47. Hey guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy my video today, please do like and subscribe. Uh, and if it's not over yet when this comes out, please do go and uh, comment the country that you live in to enter my pistol giveaway. So hopefully you've seen my recent Taiwan gun order unboxing where this was one of the beauties in there. And uh, I'm now going to do a full unboxing just to show you what it's like properly, uh, have a gauge of the uh, rate of fire and things like that. So this is the SEMA CM650B. It's the AR47 version. So it's an M4 rechambered to take, uh, modified to take AK47 mags. Uh, I'm reliably informed by one of the viewers that um, there was very, very few actually made uh, of these in real life. I believe by uh, Stoner Rifles, uh, or the company that uh, makes Stoner Rifles. So the box itself is uh, quite one of the newer style ones. Obviously quite bright, looks quite nice and professional. There's very little on it other than just seam on a few of the sides. A little bit of information. The uh, diagram on the end, and it's just polystyrene underneath. Now. I've liked this uh, this version for a while, but I wasn't sure if people were actually interested in this. So I sort of delayed getting it until I knew people wanted it. So uh, we'll get the lid out of the way. And it comes shrink wrapped, as a lot of them do now. Uh, get that out of the way. So first thing, uh, this is like the uh, E edition or platinum edition ones. So it's got a quick change spring, so it's showing you how to change the spring. Uh, out of the back of the gearbox which is really really useful and handy we've got a chronoing sheet to save me the hassle so we're looking at about 320 fps roughly uh, and they've checked that everything's working properly and that, that's fantastic i'm happy with that uh, a target for me to shoot later and a little bit of safety advice and then there it is now this i'm pretty excited about this i do like this um, get those out of the way uh, we'll look at the accessories first. Now, following a suggestion, uh, one of my viewers said it'd be worth uh, me showing you guys how it fires with the included battery. So I have taken this out and charged it up. Hopefully it's still got a charge in it. It was over a week ago since I charged it. Uh, just so you know, if you're intending to use that, what it's gonna work like. You've got a high cap mag in there. Uh, one of the, obviously, uh, P mag style, uh, waffle mags, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Usual SEMA quality, really good quality, about 600 rounds in that, 550, 600 rounds in that. I'm sure it will work absolutely brilliantly. It's a bit unusual having one with an M4. Uh, spare spring in there, I'm guessing, feeling the strength of that, the compression of that, that's the original spring, because this one has been downgraded to a weaker one. So lift it out. You've also got an unjamming tool in there. Now this thing is awesome. Um, I am really genuinely impressed with that. It's um, it's actually all polymer. I was expecting it full metal and I was a little bit disappointed when I first got it out of the parcel the other week that it wasn't all metal. Uh, I'm not sure why I thought it was, just I got it in my, my head that it was. So we'll start at the front and work back. So even the uh, birdcage style uh, muzzle brake, even that's plastic, but it's not grub screwed in, so uh, that should be uh, easy to uh, to get off the front there. The outer barrel is metal though, inside your M-lock uh, rail unit. That is a metal outer barrel. And in terms of movement, hopefully you can see that there. That's some force I'm putting on it. There's one or two mil of movement at the very most. So I'm, I'm really happy that that's really solid in there. Uh, you got uh, a stabilizer in there as well by the looks of it, like a little bracket inside here that's just keeping it stabilized. Now the, the rail unit itself is very, very well made. Um, it's all nicely rounded off. It feels very comfortable. There's not any um, catching edges there on my hands. Sometimes in the badly made ones, you might find a few sharp edges and things. You've obviously got mounting rail for days there to mount uh, EOTEX and magnifiers and whatever else you want on there. I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't include some uh, rails in the box for you to add in on the rails, but they are really cheap to get a hold of. And I do like that they're at all these different angles because you may want to have a torch or a flashlight at an offset angle, your vert grip on the bottom, uh, maybe you want a, a peck box on the side. 
there's a whole host of options and that gives you a lot of different options. You've then got a uh, quick release mounting point on the left and the right of it and you've got a screw underneath which I'm pretty sure if I undid that uh, it would start to release this uh, M-lock unit off the front. So coming to the upper receiver then, it looks fairly standard. Uh, it looks like it's probably been modelled to match uh, what the AR-47 actually looks like. You've got your dust cover, that's extended as well, beyond normal obviously because you would in real life be shooting a bigger calibre bullet, which is quite nice. Uh, the mag, that's a little bit of a different hop unit, so that is a unique hop unit. So it's almost like an S-bend, so the BBs feed in and they go round a little bend and then up into what is a normal M4 style uh, placing for the BBs. So obviously don't be expecting to rush out and replace this with an aftermarket hop unit unless somebody's making one for these. Um, there's your mag release on the inside as well. Uh, looks okay. Um, I think that even that's plastic as well. So mag goes in. Now that's solidly in there, but that mag catch is going to be notoriously difficult to get hold of. If you've got gloves on, you're going to find it hard to catch it and release it. Now I'm intentionally being ham-handed with this, but I can get my thumb in there quite easily. If you're wearing thicker gloves, you're playing in winter months, you might struggle. Now I actually love the look of that. Uh, I think it come, <laughs> looks really nice with an AK mag in it, uh, and I think it looks pretty damn awesome. Uh, the mag release doesn't work at the top, oh no, I'm telling a lie, it does work actually. Oh, I didn't realise that, I thought that was just a, for dummy, so I am impressed and uh, it shows I should uh, do a little bit more research before doing a video. So the mag can go in and you can use either the thumb bit at the bottom or you can use the traditional M4 style button there. Now that doesn't look like a normal U general M4 mag uh, release, so I would assume that it is a unique setup, it is very much a unique setup. So you're not going to be able to put all sorts of special uh, ambidextrous mag releases on there. You might be able to get the one that's just a button with the extended paddle and that will fit on there because that is a standard button. But obviously, please don't rush out. If you're going to get one of these, don't rush out and buy specialist um, mag releases because they're not going to fit. Um, so you've got your markings. It's a little bit weak clicking into place in each of the positions, but you know, it still takes a little bit of force to get it out, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. The charging handle does uh, bring back the dust cover, but it's not a functioning lockback system uh, with the bolt release. So just to be aware of you, I'm going to have to hold it back to adjust. But then you have got like a traditional M4 style uh, adjustment wheel there to obviously adjust the hop in there. Come to the stop then, you've got... One of these new style uh, stocks, luckily enough, it's quite easy to open and get in there like uh, on the uh, 97B and the uh, 98A. Obviously the same adjuster at the bottom, pull the wiring out, there it is. And it is, keeps getting stuck, there we go. Let's just pull that off. The uh, stock tube is actually um, metal as well, which is good. Uh, and it's uh, a metal um, bracing cap in there that it's screwed in against. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and that is two, three, four, five, a six position stock tube as well, which is fairly standard in most brands now. And a metal sling plate. The pistol grip, I love these style that they've started doing as well with the rounded off edges, particularly the old fashioned style, original, traditional M4 style pistol grips tend to have sharp corners and cause the rubbing issues for me. I do like the enlarged uh, trigger guard as well, it's quite nice. Uh, for gloved fingers and things, it's, that is remarkably comfortable to hold. So this is one of the additions. Um, I love the uh, motor adjustment. That's a better style than the tiny little grub screw. So this is one of the additions that has got a tight bar barrel in it and it's got a high speed motor and it's got a MOSFET as well. So we'll do a firing uh, check on it. So we'll use the included battery. This is the one that came with it. So this is an 1100 8.4 volt NIM type battery. So hopefully you heard that music. That is the MOSFET booting up. Unfortunately, it's not programmable or anything. It's just a standard MOSFET. So safe, semi. That's not bad. It's fairly respectable. Uh, full auto. 
Now, I'm, I always sort of badmouth these batteries and uh, you know for being poor quality and I suppose because I'm such a, a big user of lipos and a big fan of lipos um, you know you forget sometimes that NIM batteries are fairly decent at 1100 milliamps is definitely not going to last you a full day it's really not you're probably going to get half a day at the very most out of it um, so it's fairly respectable I'm, I'm fairly impressed with that actually out of the box uh, I wasn't expecting that it took about an hour and a bit to charge on a, a lower uh, milliamp rating um, and the charge included in the box isn't really usable in the UK because it's the two prong uh, EU style one but that's obviously just something to be aware of so I'll get a 7.4 and an 11.1 and we'll see where they put us now today I haven't got my usual 7.4 so I've got this uh, giant power one this is for my KWA AK so this is a 25C rated 7.4 volt uh, 1600 milliamp uh, should give me fairly similar to what my usual 7.4 does so I'll power it up now that that's a little bit tricky getting in there just trying to get the, the pins lined up and in there we go so that's in powered up with a little music loop that round so semi safe Instantly you can tell there's definitely a lot more snappiness there that it doesn't feel like it's struggling to turn it over It's it's instantly just ping 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 ping. We'll go for full auto That that is definitely Definitely much snappier uh, than using the included battery still don't get me wrong The included battery was a respectable performance. and I was really happy with that uh, But obviously a lipo is definitely going to provide that that power a lot more effectively. So we'll try the 11 one uh, just to confirm then this is the usual new prol uh, 2600 11.120 c battery so powered up again we all know where this is going to go so safe semi that is lightning quick we'll go full auto just that just sounds amazing absolutely amazing really nippy really sharp really turning over quickly it's the kind of thing where you're probably not going to destroy this. It's, it's fairly well solidly made. Um, and if you are looking for something a little bit different on uh, on the battlefield, this might be your style. Now, I'm a big fan. I've recently uh, changed my AK, Recoil AK, to have an M4 style stock. Just because I find that the um, AK style stocks are just a little bit too long for my preference. I just don't feel comfortable with them. So I put an M4 stock on it and I find that that works better for me and feels comfier. Um, this obviously is potentially the ultimate in, uh, in sort of options really that you've got the entirety of an M4 type platform but takes AK mags and uh, obviously you've got higher capacity in there and things like that. So maybe this will anger AK owners, maybe this will anger M4 owners. Maybe the two might find a, a common love uh, between them both. I'm actually really happy with that and I'm excited to A, have a quick disassembly of it in a future video to see what it's like inside there. And I'm keen to get it on, on site and check out just how good and accurate it is, uh, especially considering how good the 97 and the 98 uh, CMs were uh, and how good the MOSFETs were and are performing. So I will leave the usual photos in a minute. Um, please do like and subscribe. You are really, really helping me out. Uh, and I will uh, see you next time. Bye.